additions to Solid Edge 2024 is the um, ability to resolve relationships. So in this instance here, we see we've got a mismatch hole. Um, the other end, if we look around here, seems to be okay. So let's just um, make sure that we align that. So if we go into the um, assemble command, and pick up on this hole here and assemble it to here you'll notice that um, it's found the conf conflict so if we look here you can see there's um, no rotation um, but it's not allowing us to create it i've come across this situation a number of times and um, sometimes you may find that um, if an edge isn't square um, it could cause problems. So we can see that we've got, if we zoom out, um, we've got three relationships on here already. So we've got a mate. That one is unlikely to cause problems. We have an axial align at the other end, which shouldn't cause us any problems unless the distance between the holes is incorrect. And finally, we've got an axial align. Uh, sorry, planar align on the top edge here. So this gives you the ability to actually just suppress those and then you can sort of get, um, work out where um, your problems may lie. So if we say, let's look at that planar align and apply that, you'll see that the plate twists up and the alignment becomes green. So it does give us that ability to see where um, we can resolve the issue. So um, you may want to stick with that. Um, it may be that the um, plate here has been placed wrong, um, not square, uh, in which case that sort of scenario is fine. Um, you may find that none of the, suppressing none of them really help and um, you may just need to go and look at sort of like the um, size of the alignments and or distance between the holes and so on. So um, if we can do that, we can go OK and it then sort of drops back to where it was. So, um, you know, you can see here just by looking at it that this plate is um, something on it is at an angle. Um, that top edge there is either built incorrectly, if you look at the gap between the holes here and here, then um, that could be the case. So you go back and modify this part and then you can create that. Alternatively, if we go back to um, creating that alignment again, You can see that we've um, managed to create that. And if we look back at this part here, you can see that that part, that um, relationship has been um, suppressed. So it does give you some sort of clarity on how this all works. So hopefully that you will find this useful and um, won't be too surprised when that pops up and you'll know what to do.